Alright, so I have leveled up a crap ton. Welcome back, by the way. I've leveled up a crap ton, as you can see here. And I want to see if I can take out this dark dragon. First. Given I have 9,999 health, it should be enough for me to survive a couple attacks against this dragon bastard. We're faster! <laughs> I need more! Alright, here, here comes that. No, I didn't. God damn, I didn't need to do the guard. Oh. Well, I guess it's a good thing I did that, because I do need my magic to be ultra powerful. What are you gonna do now? Ooh, that was lucky. That was very lucky. I did not know he could do that. That was lucky. Holy! He's almost down. He's almost down. Take him out! Yeah! Woo! You defeated a dragon. You defeated two. There are five dragons. Now we may leave. That wasn't nearly as hard as I thought it would be. Now, I, I don't- I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't blame you if you call it being overleveled, but I will tell you, that dragon whooped my ass the last time I fought him. So things have really turned around, and why is the mansion so dark? Ah. You know, I had the I had the assumption if I defeated that dragon it would stop being so damn dark. Nope. You got nothing to worry about anymore. Now you all might remember this. I think I looked at this earlier and it said there's a seal on it. Well, the seal is broken. Mysterious house. A door, but it's not an just any door. It's the glitched dragon. One hundred thousand health. Okay. 
I like how it's a uh, maj majestic wing thing backwards. You know, I just realized I completely forgot to heal my party, but you know what? Actually, no, you know what? And she's dead. Yeah, this one's no easy battle. We just gotta keep our cool. I didn't mean the guard. I meant to heal Alpha Bloom. Alpha Bloom has the most attack out of all of us. Don't do anything stupid. Oh, okay. That was very generous of you. Try that all you want, it's not gonna do you any good. And now it's gone. You defeated a dragon. You defeated three. There are five dragons. 
Awesome! The other two, I don't know where they are, so that's all the dragons I know of right now. Alright, so that being done, we can now head further into this castle, or this temple. And fight any enemies we encounter. Oh, aren't you a toughie? Suck it! So you might be wondering how I was able to save up on gems. Well, it turns out there's a cave near the Volcano of Ruby. Um... I think it was the one where there's like a straight corridor. It turns out there are still monsters that appear in that temple, or in that cave, and I was able to quickly kill them and farm gems, so that's pretty cool. So now I'm just going to be saving gems so that I can level my ponies by a lot. The thing is... The extinction system basically wipes out enemies after I complete a certain chapter, so I'm not sure why they didn't wipe out the enemies in that cave, but I don't know if it'll happen after this, so I don't know, it's kind of tough to decide whether or not I want to like level my ponies more or just go for the boss now. But I'm going to try to go for the boss now and see if, um, you know, if, if I can still level my ponies that way. Because if I can, after I get the fourth world stone, or if I'm taken back to that dimension, it'll be no problem. Because I can al if there's a healing crystal, I can always heal back up. Lizasa. Lizasa. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I don't need I don't need the crystal of, crystals of life anymore. Crying spirits. I'm sorry I had to push you into this, but it was for your good, especially with your temper and all. You'll be back here before you know it. What the hell does that mean? What a strange thing to put on a tombstone. Oh, hello. Please, set my soul free. Oh, we got a... Corrupted Star Spirit. Are you a star pony? I don't know. But I will, if you want me to set you free, I'll do it. But I don't, I have no idea what you are. Will Holy work on you? Daya? Seems pretty effective. You don't even do anything. I don't know what you spirits are, but if you want- I don't know if setting you free is a good idea, but if you want me to do it, I will. I get the feeling it's not a good idea, though. But, you know- if you really want me to, I will. You remind me of those mushrooms I fought back in Stardust- uh, uh not Stardust. Fallen Stars Dimension. The mushrooms that just- They just bob forward and they- They just bob forward and they don't do anything. I'm glad I leveled up Apple Bloom's power because that makes it easier to take these guys out. Oh! Holy shit, okay. If you want me to set you free, why are you fighting me? 
What the hell? Well, no matter. You'll be set free in a moment. Can you just attack Apple Bloom with the same thing? The hell's your problem, mate? Alright, there we go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Strange. I'm still getting those vibes from the illusion Fallen Star made that in that Ponyville. Let's just go. This place gives me the creeps. So, are there three trials or four? I don't know. Ambush, come on! I, I can run. I just realized these guys are known as Unknown Level 6. But if that's the case... Are we are we still in Fallen Star's dimension, or...? Oh! That reminds me! Um... I was actually looking back at those backwards messages displayed in Yvelnop... In Yvelnop? Or Ponyville? The backwards Ponyville. And I think the messages that were being displayed are actually alluding to Fallen Star's past. Because, um, I took notice that one of the rooms in that place was called Inside Fallen Star's Mind. And I want to say, the whole epileptic illusionary room thing is part of his mind. So let's take a look at those messages real quick. She's the reason this place exists. She's the reason why she exists. Help us. Save us. She isn't normal. Destiny. His destiny. That was from Fluttershy. Rarity, Rarity said, This isn't the Ponyville you know. Twilight is here, but she's hiding. She could be somewhere in one of the secret entrances into the inside of these houses. Pinkie Pie said, It's not my fault. They made me this way. It was them. All the hate. All the screams. I couldn't stand it anymore. But, I don't understand. Why? Why did she die? Applejack said, They keep chasing me away. I was only doing what my father said. Now I'm not, now I'm not allowed to return. Dad? Rainbow Dash said, Now do you know? Do you now know my pain? All the crap I had to go through in my childhood? Something happened to Fallen Star, and I feel like it was like a traumatic experience that made him go insane. It might have had something to do with that female friend he was referring to when he said, Why? Why did she die? I could be wrong, but I imagine, and I'm just putting this out there, I'm just guessing, but I imagine that some traumatic experience changed how Fallen Star saw the world. It made him see things in a whole negative light. It made him go insane. Now, Dashy, I know you're watching this, and I know you're probably chuckling to yourself. Boy, do you, boy, are you in for a story? I'm just, I just, I just want to tell you, I'm just guessing at this point. I don't really know, but, and I also know that um, you did tell me like I like you've never really had anyone be so into the lore. Lore in games like this is what I live for. Like, it's fascinating, like, having a mystery of why someone is the way they are, and you wanting to know the answer as to what happened to them. Like, back- like, knowing the truth and no- and finding out whether to feel sorry or to feel hate towards them, it's- it's fascinating. So, good job to you on making this game and the story. Amazing job on your part. I spent, uh, and I, I already told you this, but I did love the part where 
um, Fallen Star changed the music while we were fighting him, like he was breaking the fourth wall. That just really gives you an insight onto how powerful these world stones really are. And all the more reason why we need to take them back. Which leads me to wonder, if he was able to steal our world stones, was he charging up a spell to do that? Or could he do that the entire time, but he was waiting for the opportune moment when we had more world stones to do so? Because either way, kind of a dickish move on his part. But you know, he's evil, so I can't really... It's not like I wasn't expecting him to do some sneaky move. But all that be be but all that being said, gonna move on to the next spirit, wherever the heck he may be. I just realized he's wielding two swords. Is he a paladin? Is he a knight? Is he a warrior? What the heck is he? Also, I don't know what it is, but having Final Fantasy enemies in a My Little Pony world feel- it's- it's- it's really, really fitting. I think it's because of just how unique and otherworldly these adventurous lands are, and having enemies like this just really fit. So, again, good job on that. Ah! I want to fight these enemies, but at the same time, like... I don't know if these enemies are, are, are really tough, because I'm- I- I don't know! I- I don't- I don't know why friggin- I don't know why these enemies are so insanely tough when I'm so high leveled. I guess because they have more health, it's not as easy to kill them. Take that! Take that! And some of this! I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna continue going through the dungeon now. Hey! I found hay! I'm tempted, but I don't want to. God damn it. Giant bat. I can deal with you. You have a lot of health, good sir. How about you not? Oh, I had to go that way. Alright, I'll go for it. Hey, that was worth it! Apple pie is very hard to come by. God damn it, I chose Blazaga, not Blazasa. Fuck. I gotta stick to the attacks that hit all the enemies, not just one enemy. Here's the door. Looks like there's something written on this tombstone. I'm sorry. I never meant for this to happen. I was only trying to change the future. So me and your... I was only trying to change the future so me and your mother can live together. When I said- when I earlier said, why, why did she die? What if Fallen Star was referring to his mother, not a friend? That would make sense considering this is the only other female this could possibly be referencing. I'm sorry, I never meant for this to happen. I was only trying to change the future so me and your mother can live together. So, this is from the father. 
This wasn't meant to happen. I am sorry, my son. I am sorry about your mother, and I'm sorry about the banishment. This is totally from the father. What does this mean? This is totally from the father. Please, set my soul free. This is totally... Is this the father? Okay, now before I begin this fight, let's think about this for a second. Corrupted Star Spirit. Am I fighting the dead soul of the- Am I fighting the trapped soul of a dead star pony? That's what this is starting to feel like. Nah, that- that can't be right. Because why would they be here? Maybe this is just someone else. Either way, 99999. Nine, nine, nine. I Hey, 1987. That's when the bite of it that's when the bite of 87 happened in Five Nights at Freddy's. How nice. Or how not nice. Now, given the eye color, what if it's hinting at their elemental weakness? I could be looking too far into this, but I'm going to try it anyway. I, see, now I really want to know more about, um, Fallen Star's past. Okay, that's not so bad. But yeah, I, I re now I really want to know more about Fallen Star. This is very interesting. Because if these aren't the souls of its parents, it's gotta be something. Wow, already you're almost already dead. Alright, there we go. There must be some meaning to these strange messages. Now, that message on that middle tombstone, if that spirit wasn't one of Fallen Star's parents, that tombstone had to have been referring to Fallen Star's father. Because remember, back in the, uh, Reverse Ponyville, um, Applejack said, they, ch they, they keep chasing me away, which, me which might refer to them not wanting Fallen Star around. Possibly as a result of banishment. So, I could be wrong, but it just feels like there's like kind of a connection here. A connection I desperately want to get. Now the question is, what did Fallen Star do that got him banished? I'm not entirely positive, but it had to have been something really, 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 really bad really bad in order to get himself banished because you you must have to really do something really bad or really fuck up to get yourself banished and then banished from what from a town from a tribe hey nice level up i don't know there's like a lot to speculate here there's just there, it's like the mysteries of Fallen Star have yet to be solved. And I'm curious as to what is going on with him. Like, yes, he killed an entire town, but that's not just because... I, I assume it's not just because he's evil, but because he's insane and he desires to change... Him. He says it's his destiny, but what is he destined to do? Rule the world? Get payback? Fix a wrong... Right a, right a wrong that has been made? It could be that he just wants to rule the world and cause chaos and destruction, but there's always a reason behind everything, and there's a lot of speculation to be had about it, so... 
I'm not entirely sure. So, we may soon find out the truth behind Fallen Star. Because to me it seems he wasn't always a bad pony. Something just happened that changed him. Okay, question. Why are there only three doors and four torches? Where's the fourth one gonna- it's, it's the fourth one? Wait, I don't- Yeah, I'm fucking confused. But yeah, there's- Oh, we've reached the 30-minute mark. There's a lot to consider here. After I kill these bats, I'll end off the episode. There's a lot to consider here. So, the mysteries of Fallen Star have yet to be solved, but I assume in due time I will find out the truth. Alright, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you all for watching this episode of My Little Pony RPG 2, Cutie Mark Crusader Warriors. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you want more content in the future, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you all next time when we fight the third and fourth spirit of the, of the forest temple. Wind Temple. Temple of the Winds. Till next time, everyone.